Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a brand new episode of Get It Since 92. And I'm here to talk about what happened to R&B series. So this will be part three. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think about the current state of music. And R&B I think is coming back full circle, which is a great thing. And it's about goddamn time. So um, I've noticed that even the talented black artists that are emerging and they are pushing R&B to the forefront, they do deserve to get the support. Um, so let me start off with Kelly Rowland. Now, Kelly Rowland, she put out a few singles. She put out Kelly and she put out Cram. And I love Kelly Rowland. I think Kelly Rowland is underrated. She has been underrated for years. And I think it's about damn time people give Kelly Rowland credit where it's due because I think it's so unfair that as far as Kelly's case and as I'm concerned because I grew up with Kelly and I grew up with her during Destiny's Child and Kelly has really done well in her solo career she has done well in her music career and I'm glad to see Kelly Rowland still make music for people that the fans that rock with Kelly they rock with her I rock with Kelly because I love her music and I think she has always been the underdog in my book because at the end of the day, people gonna say whatever they're gonna say about Kelly. You know, she's not as like good enough, you know, the same old, same old. And then we got like her being compared to Beyonce, which really they're two different artists. You know, it's good to see more than one successful black female singer to do well in the music business because at this motherfucking point, from what I see, it's going to come back in full circle. And I see more black female singers you know especially with the singers nowadays because I feel like we're going to see a good representation of everybody so that's a great thing and Kelly Rowland I think that her new album I look forward to it I think her new album is like to me I'm anticipating her new music because I think that her music has always been good she have always put out quality music and see that's the thing about Kelly I know that Kelly may not be everybody's cup of tea in music, but she, whenever she puts out new music, it be fucking good. Not from this damn garbage that be out nowadays, because I don't know what the hell's going on. These, you know, like I said, I know music change. I know the direction of R&B is changing, is evolving, growing. But Kelly Rowland, every time she puts out good music, it is always, to be honest, she sets the trend. And I like how Kelly, she is staying true to herself and her art. And I know she had to fight for her art. She had to really become her own person, her own individuality as a black woman in the music business. Because I'm telling y'all right now, it's crazy. But I do support Kelly Rowland. And I think that Kelly Rowland, like I said, she gonna knock it out the ballpark. Um, I love her single so far Kelly I love that song because I play Kelly all the time 24 7 and I love that crown video and I not the crown video my bad I love the song of crown I ain't gonna talk about the video because like I said I do have some things I would like to say about the video but that's another video I might do it so we'll see but um yeah I think Kelly she's hitting the nail you know I think that um for her it is what it is whether you rock with her or not it just it's what it is now let me move on to Sierra Sierra is another one Sierra to me is the underdog as well and I think Sierra's career has been like I said interesting and as a Sierra fan I think Sierra with her new music now and she got this new label called Beauty Marks Entertainment and I'm so happy for Sierra and I'm very excited for what she's going to bring with her music with this new era because I think that it's been like I said a long time since we've got new Sierra music and as a Sierra fan like I said you know I know about you know supporting Sierra I have bought all her music I have bought all her albums but some people like I said with certain artists they don't want to see certain artists shine and I know Sierra is an example because you watch my other previous videos I've said this loud and clear Sierra really have proved a lot of these naysayers wrong you know she have underestimated some people they feel like 
they felt like even for her putting out music and still making music that she should just stop making music. No, it don't work like that. When you have a passion to do something, you just gonna keep doing it till the wheels fall off. And I think with Sierra in her case, she really have struggled to maintain her career because like I said, I know about how she struggled to maintain her audience after a couple few albums that didn't do well, the success after her first two albums and she she went downhill from the sales. But Sierra Regardless what people say about Sierra, every time she puts out new music, people are interested in her music. And I think that Sierra, to me, look, it is what it is. And I feel like even for her, it's like this. I reflect back being her fan because I'm at a point where being her fan is no problem to me. You know, because I know how it is to support people and buy the music. I know that... For the same people that have said Sierra's music is not the good, that's fine because everybody has an opinion, everybody has the right to listen to who they want to listen to, and I respect that. Same thing, vice versa. But I love the fact that Sierra, listen, resilience. You know, and listen, as much as people be trolling Sierra, be talking this shit about her, they ain't got nothing else going on for themselves. So it's like this. I'm at a point where it's like being her fan, I'm gonna ride out for her, and that's it. Um, she put out her new song, Greatest Love, which is a really good song. It does give more of that Sierra signature, her sound, her vibe, more of like that sensual sound. And the thing about Sierra too, I love that Sierra, she have always took risks with her music, regardless of what everybody else has said. Because really, to be honest, when she took risks with her music, Lots of times, most likely the outcome be good because when she released Level Up and she released um, Dose, those songs that she released, everybody really loved it, those songs. And especially Level Up, and I'll spill y'all some tea what was going on with Level Up. She was dealing with the label at the time. They didn't connect with her vision as an artist with her music and for Level Up because she had an idea for the concept of the visual and she also like she dealt with like they you know the label did not want to support her so listen Sierra was like you know what I'm keeping pushing I'm going to follow through my instinct and that's it and this is what I've always have liked about Sierra Sierra like I said she always been that chick I don't care what nobody says at the end of the day she's gonna still do what it do um and also, it's like, for me, you know, seeing how Grace Love, it gives back that R&B, that sensual vibe. And I, she's talking about how her and Russell Wilson's relationship is. And listen, it's a beautiful thing. And I'm happy for her. But Sierra, to me, as a fan, and I do constructive criticism, I just think that Sierra, the reason why she didn't really get as bigger as she should have, is getting the right people you gotta have the right team you have to have the right team behind you you gotta have people that believe in your vision because Sierra has fell short sometimes in her career because she didn't have people that really believe in her art and she didn't get with the right management and it has been frustrating as a Sierra fan but I've always supported Sierra and I've always have done my part as a fan so like I said I support Sierra till the wheels fall off so Grace Love, it gives back that R&B vibe that people want from R&B and they want that good feeling R&B song that, listen, it's really what's really missing in music and it's so different and I love that Sierra, she stands true to herself and her sound and I love it. And so next up is Khalid and Khalid has been doing his thing too and it's kind of like I kind of overlooked him a little bit because I felt like I don't know I think I just didn't pay attention to him as much and I've always have loved to listen to different R&B singers and different like especially in the males because it's like Khalid to me his music is very it's unique to me and I like how his music is more like alternative it's more pop it's it's kind of like everything and I like how Khalid, the way how he sings, his voice, 
I like the way how Khalid sings. I think Khalid has a nice voice. No, he's not a powerhouse vocalist, but when he and Normani Corday, when they put out Love Lies, that's my song. I love that song because I love the chemistry that they have, you know, with each other as collaboration. And I love that the way how they flow with the record and I really really paid attention to him then because I know that his other songs I know like location so that song too that really became his like his biggest hit location everybody was playing location everybody loved location and even with me I was like this song is really dope it's more like that R&B feel good like location it just it just brings like goosebumps it has like that R&B ish alternative pop and that's how um in my opinion i think that his music brings that flavor to it it's more like that you know in your face you know it's kind of like nostalgic in a way but i love how khalid every time he makes new music is something different um he um just released a song called talk and i love that song talk and i like how talk is one of those like r&b pop alternative type records it kind of reminds me like the vibe of like 90s R&B and a little bit of 80s feel but I love the way how he really brings in to his charisma on the record I love how he just just takes it there and it's not forced and I love how that even with the production it's more like that alternative R&B that what you hear now but I think he already have found his lane in music so I love the song talk I've been bumping to that since ever since it came out so I love it it's dope um speaking of Normani Corday listen I love Normani Corday Normani Corday she's that you know what and let me tell you something as a Normani Corday fan I have seen how she got naysayers she got doubters she got these hating trolls mofos but I'm gonna tell you something when I read everything that she went through in Fifth Harmony, I just want to kick somebody. I just want to put my foot up in somebody's ass. I don't know who. It's crazy because my thing is, it's really crazy to see how Normani, and I respect and I admire people from for living their dream, going after it. Don't let people dictate them or stop them or get in, get in their way because that's what makes you who you are. And she is such a beautiful person inside out. She is very down to earth. And you know, I, I could not imagine. You know, and I feel like I have a connection with her because, like I said, I've struggled too. So I know how it is when people try to dictate to you who you're supposed to be and who you are and all that. But I love when I read what she went through in Fifth Harmony. It's like, yeah. Ugh. But homegirl, she said, you know what? I'm pushing forward. I'm not letting nothing stand in my way. And I got a lot of respect and love for Normani. I really do. I'm a fan of Normani forever. I support this girl. And um, I love, like, recently she had put out, she had put out um, Waves. And Waves, to me, the visual, the concept of Waves. And really, Waves is just... It's one of those records that is very nostalgic. And she's bringing back like the ni the 90s R&B type production and feel. Because her voice on there, it flows. I love the way how she's singing on it. And when she finally dropped the visual, I was stunned. This chick, she's taking us into like intergalactic world. She's taking us to like the moon and stuff. The visual, the concept. And I love how her and her dancers, they're dancing, you know, the rhythm and everything. And Normani, she's bringing it. Regardless of what people say about Normani Corday, she's bringing it. And I love, I keep saying love. Let me stop. Okay, let me stop saying love. My thing is, I really do like the visual. And I really do like how really she's bringing what's missing in music. Visual you know actual visual music videos that she's bringing the record to life so with waves it's more okay 
like that nostalgic feeling and even the collaboration with black I like the fact that their chemistry is very it gels together it's not forced and I like how with her and black they did a damn thing you know so I do appreciate the direction that Normani and black gave us in the waves visual so that's a plus in my book and when I finally saw the visual I was like okay sis I see you sis you doing a damn thing black you doing a damn thing too so I know that Normani she is going to be that chick and you know what it's sad because like I said I am passionate about music and I do support my black artists and I do support the music because I actually buy the music I do buy albums so for me to support the talented black artists that actually have the talent and they have the direction in their music regardless people try to put them in a box regardless people want to limit their sound they're not going to limit themselves and I have respect for that so as a person and as an artist myself like I said I'm trying to push myself and try to push the envelope and express my art and not be afraid to take risks whether people like it or not and like I said you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea but I respect the fact that all you got to do is stay true to your art and be true to yourself and that's what all matters so Normani Corday, she's doing a damn thing and her debut album I look forward for her music and I'm going to tell you something people have been critical of her music and her sound but I know when she put out Checklist and Slow Down with Calvin Harris and I know the collaboration with Khalid Love Lies and Dancing with a Stranger featuring Sam Smith Normani she really like I said, she's coming to her own artist. She's still learning. She's still growing. But I think people need to allow her to have time for her to break out her shell and give the audience what they want. And like I said, the fans that rock with her, including myself, we're going to rock with this chick forever and we're going to support her. So I look forward to one of Mike Corday's new music. Um, let me talk about Elle Varner. And Elle Varner is another one. I'm seeing her putting out new music. Uh, she recently put out Loving You Blind last year. And she just put out Poor Me this year. And the thing about Elle Varner, I do like that Elle Varner is another one that she has stayed true to her art. And she is really one of the talented singers that...